Hello and welcome everybody to Anderson, Indiana, just outside of Indianapolis where our newest RV Superstore has opened up recently. Behind us here is the Bullet 2200. It's a member of their Crossfire series, which is the smallest, lightest series of bullets. I call them BBs. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is an, uh, man, if you've never had a camper and you want to get your first one for your family, this checks major, major boxes. Or if you just don't want to pop up or you just need some, I don't know. Anyway, in case it's, it's a front Murphy bed, uh, a door side dinette with campsite windows so you can keep an eye on your family in case the kids start screaming bloody murder. You can look out the window and decide how to parent that thing before you get there. Uh, double over double bunks in the back corner with a little... Not full-on camp kitchen, little convenience station on the outside under it. Uh, and pretty, really respectable kitchen storage, all things considered. It's a little light on kitchen prep space, but a little camper like this really leans on. It expects you to really kind of use, like, the, the campground, like, park picnic table or bring your own picnic table, even better yet, something like that. Now, it kind of technically is a flip-up cargo bunk in the back, but there's no rear access door, and there's really nothing that holds the bunk up. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I see what you were going for but why didn't you finish going there but things like that telling you the good with the bad as we go that's what i want to do here in this video so that you get your best clearest understanding of whether this is or is not the right rv for you what is surprising is even here you're still getting an enclosed and heated belly fully walkable roof no ladder but it is ladder prepped power stabilizer jacks this even still has 200 uh, amp hours of lithium batteries factory standard on it i'll be shocked if that doesn't end up changing the future but right now you're getting batteries from the factory included on this one which is pretty darn sweet aluminum structure all kinds of good things going on this not perfect but maybe a great way to get you going here and uh satisfy those casual camping kind of urges Ooh, that got weird but first things first this shirt's coming untucked. It's after hours. I'm putting in extra time. It's hot and I'm fat. And man, just thinking about being this overweight is making me hungry, <laughs> which is part of the problem. Now, I got my butt in the bathroom currently. We're overlooking the campsite of the RV with a nice big campsite window overlooking the dining area right there. Now, it is a common like pedestal base table. I would probably swap the, uh, those out for like a pair of free floating folding legs. Um, there may be a couple little spots where the screws were in the floor from those mounts, but frankly, after like five seconds, you're going to forget it was there and it's not going to be a big deal. We are carpetless and ventless flooring. This does have the Keystone Hyperdeck composite floor system, so it is a woodless floor structure. And up front here, I'm kind of curious, what's your opinion on this? This is one of the very few Murphy beds I've seen uh, of any variety with some dedicated hard fixed armrests. If you remember back to our quick little flyby floor plan in a flash footage, the mattress will rest roughly about level with those. They do technically remove some of your walk around space around the bed, but I, I don't know. Some people, do you like them? Do you not like them? I'm kind of curious to know what you think about that. Now we're six and a half foot tall inside. This little camper does not have central air. It's a single direct dump AC, but I think... I would suspect most people would agree in something this size, that's probably going to be sufficient. But hey, maybe opinions vary. I, I don't know. It's just one nerd's opinion here. That is our TV space right there, which at a glance looks nice. But the thing is, what's across from the TV is the kitchen. So it's not a really a fantastic floor plan for watching a lot of TV. And that's that's a detrimental thing. That's the kind of thing right there that someone's like, oh, whoops, nope, I'm not going to watch that anymore. So I hope you appreciate that I go out of my way to talk about things that sometimes kind of suck on a camper. At least the TV is a nice 12-volt TV, which is kind of cool. So if uh, it doesn't matter where, like, you can be parked in the middle of nowhere and turn the TV on as long as you got battery power. The factory solar package is going to help compensate for that. Now up top, we do have the uh, tankless on-demand water heater, and I like how they have that mounted up high away from the kids. What is the best place for those uh, tankless water heater controllers? Is it right here next to the control panel, or would it be over there behind that closed brown door uh, in the bathroom? I mean, both make sense to me, but I've never seen like a three-way switch controlled uh, tankless water heater thing. Maybe it's not impossible. I've just never personally seen it. Now, the Crossfire series here is the simplest, smallest, least expensive, lightest weight series of bullets. 
Uh, they do a couple nice things still, like the double dish drying uh, like sink covers over that big farm sink. And this is interesting. It, there's no oven in this, nor is there any allowance for an oven. It's just tons of cabinet space below. It's a two burner, almost truck camper style flip up stovetop. I'm totally cool with the two burner. I kind of wish it was like a north-south vertical instead of a sort of east-west diagonal caddy corner kind of thing. We've got ourselves that big 12-volt compressor fridge there. Uh, and this is, uh, this is an interesting thing right here. You've got what's kind of a skylight, but it's also a vent. Now, it's not a, a power vent fan or anything, but this is a hollow uh, roof structure. It's not laminated. Now it's insulated, I say hollow. It's just not laminated in solid one chunk brick. Um, so if you wanted to, you could upgrade that to a power fan at your leisure. It just sort of depends. Um, I'm also going to volunteer the fact that upgrading to a digital thermostat versus the analog dinosaur probably wouldn't kill them, wouldn't be a terrible idea. Now, both of the upper and lower bunks have these little side pockets. And it basically, they're just using the hollow space inside the wall to give you a spot to like set the kids' phones or GI Joes or whatever. I think it's actually kind of smart. You've got USB plugs for both upper and lower bunks. And instead of like a big curtain that sticks out that the kids are gonna roll around and, and break, uh, they do this like drop down little shade thing here. By the way, um, the, uh, what do I wanna say? I think these bunks are like, is it 250 or 300 pound rate? Crap, I'm sorry. I saw a sticker earlier and now I, I, I can't remember offhand. I do like the double breeze windows. But this is what I was talking about. Like, you got all that cargo space down there. And I was like, oh, is this, does this lift? And yeah, it does. Neat, but it doesn't, like the mattress doesn't have a seam. So you can't get the mattress out of the way. And there's no latches, no locks, no struts. There's nothing to hold that bunk up. So you can say move bunk, get out the way. And then it's going to kind of go, yeah, but like a boomerang. I'm going to come back around. So I don't know. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I might've called something wrong earlier. I make mistakes, guys. I'm not perfect. I don't get it all right. That is your LTE like Wi-Fi prep point. Is that, is that seriously just a, a second TV hookup station? Huh? Well, wouldn't be the first time I got something wrong. Heck, I, I think I did something wrong before I even left the house this morning. So, hey, neither here nor there. Now, let's dive a little deeper into all these details here. Uh, let's start with this little uh, Murphy bed situation up front. Uh, actually, let's start with these um, hanging wardrobe towers right there. Again, full-length hanging towers. Hard to find in a smaller, lighter little family camper. Um, I also want to mention, you may notice no mattress as I folded that down. Uh, the mattress that was in this RV that belongs to this RV, um, our team at this store, like a client had a problem. So they needed a replacement mattress and they were going camping this weekend. And since it was critical, we pulled a mattress out of this RV to get them up and running. Now we can't do that on every single widget every time, but we were able to do it for these clients right here. So, uh, I had, uh, the, where you've seen a mattress in this footage, I had to like steal it from another camper, lay it down, record it, and then haul it back over. So I hope you appreciate the effort and the, the clarity and the transparency, but, uh, that, that's what's going on. I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised with how clean the construction and execution was under where the mattress would go. A lot of manufacturers won't actually really finish that off. They'll, you'll just see a lot of raw exposed wood. Now the kitchen, you may have noticed, I think very good storage space. I do still think a uh, north-south vertical two burner stove top. If you're not going to do an oven, I prefer two burner stove top uh, because it would really give us some extra counter space. This floor plan needs a flip up counter extension over here. Wouldn't be awful either. For the most part, that's like, that's a, uh, a screwdriver work thing that we could add for you. So kind of keep that in mind. Did you notice, by the way, the pantry be uh, between the fridge and the bathroom? Um, it also had a hanging rod in it. That's adjustable, removable shelving, which is uh, kind of handy. Porcelain foot flush stool in here with pretty nice space around it, all things considered. I was not unhappy with that. I was afraid for a second there might just be a mirror on the wall, but we do have a, a corner storage cabinet over here. Uh, keep your toothbrushes and all that stuff kind of out of the way. Now, with the RV being only six and a half foot tall, and even though it's got a short lip, like I, almost like Cherokee, like a shub. Uh, it's easy to step in, but you still have to step up into it a little bit. 
And uh, as you can see, that is also the vent fan in the bathroom right there. And in terms of road mode, with no slide, <laughs> we already saw it. Now, as you can see, there are bullets of different calibers. <laughs> oh, anyway. By the way, uh, Canadians like to poke fun at Americans that will use anything but the metric system. Joke's on them. We use metric all the time. We just use it to measure the diameter of our bullets. <laughs> It's funny, but it's also true. Um, anyway, taking a look at the weights and the measures of this, generally speaking, half tons, bigger SUVs, the biggest class of SUVs, I, I would rather say, should find this one readily within their uh, weight categories. Um, it's, it's not super long, it's not heavy, it's no slides, it's easy, it's simple. Um, I mean, you could just you just pull in, you don't even gotta, un like if you pull in late at night, you don't even gotta unhook from the trailer. Just pull in, stay hooked up, everybody can go inside, go to bed, maybe use a bathroom, wash your hands, then go to bed, and, uh, you know, get back to it in the morning. That's th This camper's really handy for that. Now, right there, you're looking at a pair of 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So, 200 amp hours of Dragonfly Lithium's factory standard on these. Uh, I don't know if that's going to continue in the future. There's been some talk about it both ways at the time of this filming. They're included. What's also included is your 200 watt solar panel that you see up top there, along with, remember, they're doing some inverter prep. Now, there is no ladder, so I can't get you up to the roof to give you a good look at it, but you, uh, the rear wall of this RV is ladder prepped, so that is handy. By the way, this is an easy thing to miss, but a very, very handy feature. I'm glad I, I spotted this. Uh, that's a hot, cold outside utility shower, and there's a little cold water sprayer hose included with this, I think. It's actually over here in the front storage compartment, which has magnet holdbacks that are actually latching and locking. There's that sprayer I was telling you about, along with some other random garbage plastic. 15 amp MPPT Victron charge controller, if you don't know what that means. Victron is kind of one of those very highly respected, almost gold standard names in uh, solar hardware solutions. Um, you know, different factories use different things. And, uh, you know, they all want you to think that theirs is the very best. But I think if you talk to a lot of actual RV owners who had to do some independent DIY solar installs years ago, uh, Victron's a very high res highly respectable name. Come on through, folks. You're the reason we're here, obviously. You know, <laughs> I can't believe you want to buy a camper. I'm trying to sell a camper over here. <laughs> Four corner power stabilizer jack standard here. We've also got uh, a heated enclosed underbelly. That does not magically make this a four seasons camper. That means that this will be respectable through uh, what I'm going to call extended season. If it dips below freezing tonight and comes back tomorrow, you're gonna be okay. My camera lens is foggy. I might need to clean that off. We're looking at a Norco huck bolted frame uh, as opposed to an, uh, uh, an L, uh, what do I wanna say? A Lippert um, I-beam chassis. The idea behind that, it's um, high strength, low alloy steel. So thinner, lighter, but not uh, weaker, which is kind of cool. By the way, this also has TPMS prep on it, which is a handy dandy feature. And I'm curious, I feel like there's a little bit of a comeback starting to sway back toward these. What do you think of these traditional steps versus the, the fold down steps with the extra legs? And when you leave your opinion, if you would do me a favor also, let me know what region you live in, and I'm one, I, I, I'm starting to maybe identify a trend, but your info could help. Now the outside speakers on this thing are like the volume you're gonna have to put them at to be able to hear them. High. <laughs> when they're up high like that, you can't always hear them as easily, so you gotta c compensate with higher volume, and if somebody's camping beside you, usually they can end up hearing your speakers pretty well, not everybody loves that. It's not your fault they have garbage taste in music. So I'm not gonna call this a camp kitchen. I'm going to call that a camp convenience. Here, You know, I didn't look. Is there a propane cooker hooker? And yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. We do have ourselves a gas grill quick connect, which makes me think. If you wanted to, you could put like a grill or griddle or something probably on that, or free float it, stand it, whatever, whatever works best for you. Um, now, with no rear bumper, you might be asking, where, oh where, can I stick the stinky slinky? Um, my, I asked my wife once and she told me exactly where I could stick it and I wouldn't recommend that for anybody. But the good news is you don't have to go through that experience because the sewer hose tube holder is built right in the back of the bumper, well, where the bumper would be back here. 
So remember the bullet family starts here at the little crossfires and then it goes up to the bullet ultralights and then finally the premieres. And as you can see, this store has got a wicked awesome selection of all those things. So if you want to kind of get in here and you want to walk in and out of a couple models and try them on for size, this is an awesome place to be able to do that. And of course, I'll leave you a link in the video description to check on pricing and availability wherever, because this is not our only store that has uh, bullet campers. It's the one nearest to my home, so it's probably where I'm going to record the most of them. If there's a specific floor plan in this lineup you want to see, let me know and I'll try to zero in on that through the year as I make a couple periodic visits down here. It's only a couple hours from my front door easy hop down for me to check these things out for you short of that we don't do hidden fees we just do everything else take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone